In this video, we're diving into how Proton Pass's autofill feature actually works and how it makes logging into your accounts faster, easier, and a whole lot more secure. What's going on, everyone? My name is Eric Hunsker, and on this channel, we cut through the fluff to help you stay safe online without overthinking every step. And let's be honest, nobody enjoys typing passwords. It's slow, it's boring, and when you have dozens or hundreds of accounts, it starts to feel impossible to keep up. But weak passwords? We're using the same ones? That's just asking for trouble. So what's the fix? Password managers, right? And more specifically, Proton Pass, which has been getting a lot of attention lately for how it blends security with ease of use. Today, we're zeroing in on autofill, one of those features you might take for granted until you realize how much time and headache it saves. Now, what even is Proton Pass? So first, real quick, what is Proton Pass? If you've heard of Proton before, it's probably because of Proton Mail or Proton VPN. These folks are serious about privacy. They build tools that are encrypted end to end, open source source and built with zero ads or creepy trackers. Proton Pass is their password manager, and like the rest of their tools, it focuses heavily on keeping your data safe from prying eyes. But what makes Proton Pass stand out isn't just that it stores password, it's that it's actually convenient to use. And that's where autofill comes in. Why autofill matters. Okay, so here's the deal. Autofill might not sound exciting, but it's literally just filling in forms for you. But when you use it day in and day out, especially with something like Proton Pass, it becomes one of those little features that you don't want to live without. Imagine you're on your laptop trying to log into your bank. You open the site, click the login form, and boom, your email and password appear instantly, ready to go. No typing, no mistakes, you just hit enter. Now imagine the same smooth experience on your phone when you're rushing through a checkout page or trying to log into your streaming service. That's what Proton Pass is built for. It's quick, but it also doesn't compromise on safety. Here's something a lot of people don't realize. Autofill, when done badly, can be risky. Some password managers will try to fill your login details into shady websites or phishing pages that only look legit. But Proton Pass avoids that by only offering to fill your info on real verified domains. If you end up on a fake site, it just won't show anything to fill. That's huge for avoiding scams. So it saves time and it helps you stay safe. Not bad, right? How to set it up on desktop. Let's start with using autofill on your desktop. First step is getting the Proton Pass browser extension. You can grab it from the Chrome Web Store or if you're on Firefox or Edge, it's also available there too. Once you install it, you'll see the little Proton Pass icon near the top of your browser. Click it, log into your Proton account, and you're in. Now let's say you go to a site that you use often, like Reddit or Netflix. When you click into the form, Proton Pass will recognize the website and suggest your saved login right there. You don't have to do anything special. Just click the suggestion and your email and password get filled in instantly. It also handles multiple logins like a champ. So if you've got two different Twitter accounts or a couple of Gmail logins, you can just pick the one that you want from the dropdown. Now another nice touch, you can preview your saved login info before filling it. So if you're not sure which account is which, you can double check without opening a new tab or digging through your settings. So if you want to get started with Proton Pass, we've got a link for you down in the description where you can go ahead and get 50% off Proton Pass by using our special link. So after you go ahead, log in and get your account, it'll go ahead and guide you to the Chrome store where you can go ahead and get it. Now I've already installed it and I have it up here in my web browser. So if I go ahead and click on this, this is what it looks like. So right now my vault is currently empty. We can create a login. We can create a hide my email alias, create a credit card, an encrypted note, create an identity, and we can also import passwords. Autofill on mobile. Now let's talk about using Proton Pass on your phone. Honestly, this is where autofill shines the most because typing passwords on a phone is just the worst. On Android, setting it up is easy. You just go into your phone settings, tap on passwords and accounts, and then select autofill service. Choose Proton Pass and you're good to go. From now on, when you go to a login, screen in your browser or an app, Proton Pass will offer to fill in your info. Tap to confirm and you're done. On iOS, it's basically the same exact process, just with a few apple tweaks. You go to settings, passwords, autofill passwords. Then turn it on and pick Proton Pass as your provider. After that, it works exactly how you'd expect. You open an app or browser, tap the login field, and Proton Pass jumps in with your saved details. Now, it's not just passwords. So here's something cool. Proton Pass doesn't stop at passwords. It can autofill a few other useful things too. For starters, it supports email aliases. So if you use Proton Mail, you can create burner email addresses or masked emails, and Proton Pass will autofill those when you're signing up for new sites. That way, if that site starts spamming you later, you can just 
delete the alias. It also stores credit card details so you can fill in payment info quickly at checkout. And it has a secure note feature. So if you have stuff like license keys, Wi-Fi passwords, or 2FA backup codes, you can store and quickly copy those when needed. Basically a digital Swiss army knife for your logins. The safety side of things. Now let's not forget why most people even use Proton stuff in the first place. Security. Every piece of data that you save in Proton Pass is end-to-end -end encrypted. That means not even Proton themselves can see your stuff. It's locked down with your password and if you use two-factor authentication, which you should, that adds another layer of safety. Plus, it won't autofill your info unless the website matches exactly. If something feels off, it just doesn't fill. So even if you accidentally end up on a phishing site, Proton Pass won't fall for it. And since the whole thing is open source, you can trust that independent experts have looked at the code to make sure it's doing what it says it does. That's way more transparent than a lot of big name tools out there. Everyday use, what it actually feels like. Using Proton Pass feels kind of like having a personal assistant that remembers everything for you. When you first start using it, you'll probably just import your old logins or add them one by one. The extension or app usually asks if you wanna save new passwords when you type them in manually. After a few days, you stop even noticing that you're using it. Logins just happen and it feels normal. Over time, it actually helps you use stronger passwords because you don't need to remember them. You just generate a random one, save it to Proton Pass, and you're set. That part alone can level up your security by a mile. So let's go ahead and create a login here. So if I come up here to the top, I can go ahead and click on Create Login. So when you click on Create Login, it's just gonna go ahead and take the URL and make that the title. So I'll go ahead and cut that out and we'll just say Google Chrome. And then here you can go ahead and enter the email or password. We'll go ahead and type that in. And then we'll go ahead and enter a password. Now, this isn't a real login for anything, so go ahead and steal that if you'd like. You can also add a note here. We can also add attachments to upload files from our device. And we'll go ahead and click Create Login. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Now, when I go ahead and click on Proton Pass, we can go ahead and see that login right there. And then if I was to go ahead and log in to this website, it would go ahead and autofill that for me. Autofill might seem like a small detail. But in Proton Pass, it's one of the key reasons the whole system works so well. It makes good habits easier to keep. It makes strong security feel simple. And it saves you from having to type dog lover123 for the hundredth time. If you're already in the Proton ecosystem, it's a no brainer. But even if you're just starting fresh and you want something you can trust, Proton Pass is a solid pick. If you want to get started with Proton Pass, we've got that link for you down in the description where you can go ahead and save 50%. We'll also have links to any other VPNs that we love or just recommend. These are affiliate links, which means we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using it, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we cover everything from VPNs and cybersecurity to how to stay safe online and detailed product comparisons. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you here in the next one.